If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement, male advantage ebook, or my personal workout and diet plan, all links are in the bio. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about how comfort destroys men, okay? A very, a very interesting topic, if you would. I imagine with a short title, it's quite punchy as well. There's going to be a lot of guys watching this, so thank you. I appreciate that. Well, in terms of how comfort destroys men, I've heard this many, many times from people far more successful and older than me who have said that you don't know where you want to stop until you get there, which sounds very strange, right? But imagine a train... Like, imagine a train that's going along and each next station is a higher level in life. Your ideal destination is the end stop, end of the line. That's ideally where you want to go, okay? That's where a lot of people... I just realized I'm sat quite low here. This is exactly where people want to go, okay? Ideally, they want to go to the end of the line. They want to be, you know... To the end goal, if you would. That's. I want to be a billionaire. I want to have the perfect body. I want to be CEO or MD of this company. I want to start an investment portfolio of 100 homes. Yeah, right. Everyone's got their different thing. Everyone's got their goal. I want a number one record. You don't know how far you want to go on that journey until you actually get to each stop. And I've seen this a million times. Like I said, so many people have telling me throughout my life and I'm experiencing this big time in my life now and I've seen it along the way. But I once got told by an old boss, you don't know where you want to get off until you get to that stage and he said some people will get to like they want to be a multi-billionaire but they'll get to like two three hundred thousand per year and that's like i'm done like they'll step away they might not say it but they'll step away they'll start doing less they'll start turning up to the office less they'll start going out more they'll meet a woman right all this shit i've experienced this in my life i know dan pena spoke about this before i saw a video of his where he spoke about it when i was younger and um I've experienced this a lot. When I was growing up, all my friends were ambitious. There was a bunch of lads that were like... There's one guy in particular that I always remember. He's like super, one of the most handsome guys naturally I've ever seen, right? Tall, intelligent, had a decent job. Like really put the work in and started rising up that career ladder. He started bringing in like four to 8,000 per month. He was killing it, right? Went and got a girlfriend straight away. Settled down, baby mortgage. Immediately. And all that other shit, the business ideas, the plans to take this further, to start his own firm, to like push everything to the next level, gone. Because there's almost like when a door like when all the doors are closed, all you can see is the end goal. But as you're moving along, like let's say it's a corridor, not a train, you've got all these doors, like that scene in the Matrix, and you've got the one at the end. When that one door opens, like three stops down or three steps down, that door opens and you get to look inside, and inside there is a mortgage. A 7 out of 10 woman, led on the bed naked, looking sexy. You know, uh, average life, where you can be like, I'm comfortable, I've got a house, I've got a car, it's okay, it suits me, I've got, I'm, all my bills are paid, I'm making okay money, I'm in a suit, driving a BMW, uh, I'm going to take it, right? And people cop out early. You see this all the time, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's your idea of success, then fair enough. But if that wasn't always your idea of success then you've been smacked in the face by comfort. And that's what the whole purpose of this video is about, okay? How comfort destroys men. And you have to be very careful, guys. Like, um, this video is very much based around the stick or twist notion. When I told you a lot before that 27 is the most dangerous age for men. It could be 28, it could be 29, it, it could be different for you. As entrepreneurs, it's usually a little bit later. 9 to 5 job, it's usually about 27. I'm experiencing it right now at 29. I just had a stellar month money-wise. Things are going well. I'm putting a lot of pieces together at once. I'm getting a lot of female attention. There's a, there's, I'm not going to do it, right? Because I've got massive ambitions to take streaming platform, etc. I'm not even thinking about this shit. But there's obviously like a new temptation when new doors open. Like I now have the ability to go and buy like a, a house outright, right? I could buy that house. I could sit there with my beautiful woman, you know, and every night I'm like, I've got sex, I've got a house, I'm successful, everyone thinks I'm doing great. That's there as an option, and that's a temptation. And the people who were previously ambitious, who previously wanted to go all the way to the fucking end of the line, they get off at the next stop. And you see this a lot, and that's why I'll bring it back to the first statement where I said my old boss said, you don't know how far you want to go until you get there. 
Well, he means each step of the way. Like you might say, I want to be worth 100 million. I've got all the ambition in the world. You might get to 100 grand a year and be like, oh, this is nice. You might get to 50 grand a year if you were broke and be like, this is amazing. How often do you see this in the music industry? You get a lot of... You get a lot of rappers from the hood who grew up with nothing. And they're like, I want to take this to the top. I want to be worth billions. I'm going to go all the way. At that time, when they haven't got anything to eat, life's tough. They're in the hood. They're being shot at. They're like, yeah, I want to go to the top. There's nothing stopping me. But then they do. They take the foot off the gas. You know, women become accessible. Money goes to, I don't know, 400,000 per year. And they start going, oh, this is nice. This is comfortable. And out of nowhere, the desire disappears. Happens with boxers too. They get the title belt, they step off the gas. You know, you see it in sports. There's a lot of footballers who are superstars when they're young. Fast forward a couple of years. It's almost like the talent disappears, but it's not the talent, it's the work rate. And that's where it comes from, it's the comfort. You now have access to the women that you find attractive. It's hard to get out of bed and go for a run when you've got a seven next to you or an eight next to you with a nice ass or a nice pair of tits and she jumps on top of you wearing something tight and cute. It's hard to go for a run. It's hard to get up and go for the gym when you've got that scenario. It's hard to work on a Saturday and Sunday when you've already made a million that year or you've already made, let's say, your job pays you 50,000 per year. You've got a pretty decent life. You've got spending money. You just had a great night out with friends and whatnot and you're like, I really love my life. Well, fair enough, you probably do. It's hard to then be like, I've got a business idea that I'm working on as well. I'm going to work on it for Saturday and Sunday. I've got a day off Monday. I'm going to work on it. Then it's, do you know what I mean? It's hard to get in that mentality. You don't know who you are until you get to those moments. You don't know. Like I know, I, I, I've been through all this shit. I know a lot about myself every step of the way. My business got deleted. It sounds weird, business getting deleted, but it was like online. I rebuilt it. It's now better than ever. I went broke, I was in my overdraft, I was in massive debt, I was in arrears on those debts, I came out of it, I'm now, you know, financially fucking secure. I've been through those moments. I've been punched in the face by people, and instead of being like, oh, shying away and ducking away, I've been hit and I've gone, yeah, fuck you, I'm moving forward. Like those punches have hurt and I've said, come on then, let's go. I've learned those lessons about myself. I've lost my dad, day of his funeral, did a fantastic speech, even though I say so myself, I braved up to it. I turned up that morning. You know, I lifted weights all morning, heavy weights. I showed up. I shook everyone's hand, made sure all the family was okay, gave the arm around the shoulder when it was required, gave the speech, you know, kind of like just handled the day, handled it like a boss, got through that moment. So what I'm trying to tell you is I've been in sticky situations and I've come out the other side. I'm in a situation right now where I'm making a lot of money, probably five times more than I was making from a nine to five job. And I've just worked all weekend, Halloween weekend, when all the girls have got an excuse to dress up as sluts. Where was I this morning, Sunday morning? I was in the gym. I was in the gym for an hour. I was working hard, okay? I was working on my business all day yesterday. I was working on my business till late last night. I was packing supplements late last night and early this morning as well. I've just made a lot of money. I could have easily said, let's take two days off. Let's have the whole weekend off. Hey, it's Halloween. Let's go and get some women. My, man my mindset's still there make a million cash and grind like you're broke, a meek meal quote, I was still there. That comfort didn't destroy me. You gotta watch out guys, okay? Like mine might be, mine might be like 10 million in a year. I might be like, ah, oh, fuck this. Because I've told you guys multiple times before, you'll get to a certain point in your life where it's like, you shouldn't be working 24 seven. You shouldn't be like Dan Pena and Gary Vee, like I said, looking like shit and whatever. There comes a point where you're like, you've made enough money, take like enjoy quality of life and experiences and shit like that. Like, you don't have to be working 18 hours a day. I will do that eventually too, but not until my goals are clicked. Like I want to get up to that level. I'm not going to then get to there and be like, nah, it's close enough. Life's good. That's a cop out. That's comfort destroying you as a man. So just be aware, guys, okay? This isn't necessarily, like, my greatest video ever. It's not necessarily, like, uh, an exact kind of system on how to live your life. It's just a heads up. It's a heads up of where I am right now and how things are and the level of temptation that has changed. So say you're 16 years old, you're broke, you live at home with mum. I've been there. Mum's working four or five jobs, and you're like, one day I'm going to really help her out. When I've been there, right? And you get, go and get your nine-to-five job, this job pays you 25,000 per year. You're still living at home with mum. 
you're not paying full bills. Do you know what I mean? You're not paying like full bills on a rental property. You're just giving mum some money and whatnot. You've got some spare income. Helping mum out suddenly goes out the window. You'll suddenly be like, I think I'm going to get a car on finance. I'm going to take this girl out. I'm going to take a holiday. Because you've got that spare expendable change. It's hard to be hungry when you've got a full belly. It's very hard to be hungry. And that might not be you. You might find that out about yourself, okay? And that's fine too. You can still live a lovely life, okay? But if you do have that desire and deep down you know you want to go to a certain level, it might not be the top, might not be the middle, it might just be a certain level that suits you and you've got certain goals that you want to tick. Never let comfort get in the way of them, okay, guys? Don't let that comfort slap you in the face and say, yeah, this is great, but look at this offer over here. You know, do you want to take this early or do you want to really go for it? It's almost like, you know, when people do bets and they do the cash out app, like your bet is going well, do you want to cash out early? And people take the cash out. It's very similar to that in life. You know, as soon as you get that taste of mortgage money, that might be it for you. Oh, I can get a house. Yeah, why was I chasing my big dreams? I might as well just go and live that normal life. A lot of people want that. A lot of people go, okay, I'm on... Something I've talked about for years is like, once you're equal to where others are, a lot of people go, oh, that's fine. Right, they'll play catch up until they've kept up with the Joneses. So like all of my friends are making 35000 per year, let's say. Let's say I'm broke. I go and get a job, then a promotion. I'm working like a mule. They put me on 35000 a year and I'm like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm earning the same as my friends. Like, eh. And the ambition goes away. That happens all the time. That's comfort slapping you in the face. You're willing to be average. Oh, I made it to average. Yes, I'm the same as everybody else. That's fine. I'm done. That's why all these bums go and get cars on finance. I'm going to go and get a BMW on finance. I'm going to pay 300, 400 pound a month for a car on finance that I can't really afford, but I want people to think I'm on that level. That's bum mentality. That's comfort destroying you as a man. How can, and then, you know, because that gets you the 6 out of 10 pussy. And you're like, yes, I've got a woman. I'm, I feel comfortable now. I feel okay. Oh, I've got regular sex. You want to be a beast like me. If you want to be a winner like me and actually like go for your fucking goals and strive to the top, if you want to really push this to the next level, and I can say things like that because I've been through it and I know I'm legit, I know I'm real because I've been through that fucking shit and I came out the other side and I've raised those questions to myself and I've answered them correctly. Well, if you want to get to that stage in life, when that kind of comfort comes at you and hits you in the face and you are making... 40, 50,000 per year from a nine to five job, but you have ambitions to take it to another level. You might have to live like shit for another five years. Who's willing to do that? Because that's comfort. Okay, that comfort's going to feel nice. The old silk sheets quote, you know, Marvin Hagler. I hate, I kind of hate this quote because um, Max Kellerman says it like seven times a minute. So I, I'm always hearing it. And I just, I think it's the most overused quote in sports. But the one about, it's hard to get up and go for a run when you wake up in silk sheets or silk pajamas. Marvin Hagler said it. Yeah, it, is, it, it gets tougher, okay? It does get tougher. But if you can find that motivation from somewhere and have your eyes fixed on that goal, you're going straight to the top, okay, guys? It means, it means the world of difference. Don't cop out early. You're just slapping yourself in the face. Was I wearing these two coats last year? Yeah. Yeah, I was. I, I mean, do I need to say more, guys? I'm using the same camera. I debated buying a new camera today, and I sat there and I was like, there's no need. It's a vanity purchase. I don't need it. It's a comfort vanity purchase. I don't actually need that camera. This one's fine. It's doing the job. Until I do something higher level, like the streaming platform, I might as well not buy one. You know, if an opportunity comes up, it's cost effective. I can trade this one in and get a great deal on it, on another camera. Start adding slow motion shots and whatever to my gym vlogs. Yeah, I might do it. But truth be told, I'd rather hire a videographer and give them the money. And then, you know, then, then it's worth it because the content goes up a level. A, co uh, a videographer and an editor. Do you see what I mean? It's almost that comfort. Will I buy a new jacket? Will I buy, do I need one? Am I warm? Yeah, I'm warm. Do I, do I need one? Oh, you'd look good. Okay, sure. There's time for that in the future though. And what would it do? Well, it's going to impress a lot of women. It's going to attract a lot of women. Yeah. Well, like, do you see what I mean, guys? It's that mentality. It's like once things... It's easy when you're broke. It's easy when you're not... It's easy when those doors aren't open to be like, I don't want them. But when that door opens up and that woman becomes a possibility, when that mortgage, that house becomes a possibility, 
when that car actually becomes a feasible, affordable option, it's hard to say no. So just watch out for that in advance, okay guys? If you want to grab our Men's Lifestyle Supplement Male Advantage ebook or my personal workout and diet plan, all links are in the bio.